Andy is still but hurt that I turned down his one-on-one -on -one interview. Why would you sit down with someone who gave another cat? Mm. Okay, well, that's Jen's statement. She's allowed to make her statements too. That's totally fine. Um, how... Let me see. Wait, what do you want me to look up? Okay, I'll look it up. Okay, you guys, you guys are telling me to go. We're going. Go listen. Okay, we're, we have people on it. You, um... The, bro the black eye happened when cameras were down? Okay. Oh, there were no cameras there? Well, how did they record? Okay, wait, come explain that to them. Come explain that. Okay, Dana was there the night of the black eye, you guys. So she's going to explain that question. Yeah, so Whitney and I, we went to bed. Um, but before we went to bed, most of the camp crew already, like, they were already gone. They were already left. There's only one guy left, and he just got some of the footage, some of the fun commotion things that were happening, but that was it. They they were already gone. It was, like, 4 in the morning when it happened. 3 to 4 in the morning. Ooh. Yeah, they were already gone. So there were, no, there were no cameras there? No. Mm -hmm. no cameras. Okay, but what about, like, the footage that they have, like, in Heather's room or whatever, that camera? That was something like before. Look at your titties, girl. Thank you. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much all the camera people were already gone at that time. So uh, So what camera caught them? I think it's just like the hallway camera, right? Was that the one that was? Or the bedroom camera? It was like in a room. It looked like it was like in oh, a yeah. corner, like it in was. a ceiling or something. I think something. that was the only camera that was really on. There was, unless there had cameras. So wouldn't it be on that? Because it was just one area. What about the all the other areas? They were playing in the pool. They were playing in the backyard. There were a lot of stuff happening in that area. So while cameras weren't there, mm -hmm. yeah, okay, cameras right. were not there when that was happening. Okay. okay, so okay. Well, there you go. That's from Dana, who was there during that. But a lot of us did think that Jen did it. A lot of us did. You and, did? Yeah. And Jen was acting very suspicious the next day. <laughs> Dana, do you believe that Jen did it? Yes, always. With because, conviction. Yeah. With conviction, she says yes. Are you on speaking terms with any of the ladies? I am not. It's pretty much the same as like at BravoCon, you guys. Um, nope, nothing's going on there. Wait. Oh, y'all are investigating, investigating like CSI. <laughs> Thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. I'm sure there's a lot of mean comments in here, but I'm trying to scroll past them. Hi, Kaylee. Love you so much, Kaylee. Oh my gosh. I love you. Name them, name them. All of those are part of the page. Was it bad? Um... Even though my name was given up in relation, I'm just, I'm not gonna talk about anybody else involved in the page. I'm just gonna own it, so. Now we know why you didn't have an SLC panel. Yes, now you guys know exactly why there was no SLC panel at BravoCon, because that would have been crazy. Um, let me see, everybody's being really nice. Everyone is being really nice. Do you wanna be on speaking terms with any of these women? If so, who? That's such a good question. I really like that question. Um, honestly, I have no wish issues with Meredith and Whitney and Mary. Love Mary. Mary's actually been so great to me. She texts me. She checks in on me. She sends me love all the time. Mary has been really, really, really sweet, and I'm grateful for her. But Mary's really the only one that I talk to um, from the cast. Let's see. You guys didn't have an after show as well. Was it because of that situation? I don't know. I don't know about that. Because, I mean, they still could have done an after show without me on it. Um, you should go on to Two T's podcast. Yes, I would love to. Tamara and Teddy. Did you see that? Let's see. I'm going to thank you, Gabe. That's the reason. What is... Tell Mary to unblock me. Okay, I got you. Talk of shame. I'll tell her. <laughs> I'll message her and tell her, please film with Carlos King. I would die 
and hopefully we can make that happen. I love him. He's so sweet. They could have had you on an after show solo. Yeah, I think that they could have filmed after shows with us, like the cast and then just me. I mean, that's how we did BravoCon. We just kind of stayed away from each other. Just take Mary and do your own show. <laughs> Love you, Sarah. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Love you. Why didn't Dana come back? Dana, get over here. They love you. They love you. They love some Dana. They do. They love Dana. <laughs> Dana. Ay, 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 ay. Dana is over here with her sexy ass nips and ass out, you guys. We love to see it. She's looking good. They want to know why you're not coming back or why you weren't back. Why weren't you back? It just didn't work out. The timing didn't work out. My daughter had COVID. It just didn't work out, you know? Okay, here's a little BTST. She was actually supposed to, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then literally right when we started filming, you were supposed to be at the Fresh Powder yep. Fresh Start or whatever, and her daughter got COVID. <laughs> and they were like, see you in two weeks. And then what the fuck? Yeah, it didn't work out. And that's okay. <laughs> yeah. We're friends in real life, though, yeah. so that's good. <laughs> Did you interact? Wait, I'm trying to keep up with all these. Ah! At all with the other ladies at BravoCon. Um, no, they really had us, like, separate. We really weren't. But honestly, everyone at BravoCon was so nice. Oh, Alpha! Yeah. Alpha! Hi, Alpha! Oh, Hi. my gosh. She's so cute. Alpha Lou is my dress designer, everybody. Would you do Ultimate Girls Trip, Dana? Absolutely. <gasps> I would totally do it. That would be would so cool. Yeah. That yeah, would be would so totally fun. Oh, my gosh. Wait, what? Is it true you and Brian hit it off at BravoCon? <laughs> Brian Benny? Brian's amazing. I loved him. He was so nice. Yes, that is true. I loved him. He was so sweet. Plus, her husband is hot. We need him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tanner. He is very, very hot. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. <laughs> Did you and Chris from Summer House hit it off at BravoCon? Chris is amazing. He's so sweet. Um, my friends loved him. Andy, are you a Chris fan? Yes. Andy loves. a picture of my father that was like, who is that? Yeah. Like, Chris. They love Chris. We all love Chris. They were so, so sweet. Aww. Let's see, Monica, did you watch any other Housewife cities before joining? Yes, I did. I love them all. There's nothing wrong with liking Bravo and being on a show on Bravo. No. What's wrong with it? Let's see. Who is that? Which I can't keep up with this. Coming back? You're asking me if you're coming back. I have not been asked back. Are you coming back for season five? Um, yeah, we'll wait. We'll find out. <laughs> so she no, no. I don't. No. No. We're just kidding, you guys. Just kidding, no. We're just being gossip girls. We're telling part truth and part lies. Yes, that's yeah. what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> Did production know your connection to the account when they were interviewing you? You like to bark, no. I like to bite. <laughs> Who said that? No, they're talking about me when I was telling Jen that. Oh! I was like, There's a difference oh! No, your fight with Jen, I swear, got no, cut. It, oh, it was like in the trailer? Yeah, they wouldn't hear it. Why? I have no idea. Hmm. But they're... No. Let's see. I'm sleeping. Do you still think Angie is a part of the Greek mafia? <laughs> no. That is a cool fucking storyline. She is... Is she? I don't think she is. I don't think she Wait, is. Wait, is Dan a part of reality? No, I don't know what the heck is She is. is. What is... <laughs> No. She is not. When Dana said she knew an informant, was she talking about you? <gasps> Wait, that's such a good question because I have been asked that yeah. so many times. No, Monica <laughs> is not the informant. <laughs> I was Just not the informant. That. She's not. I was not. Carlos, everyone wants us to do a podcast together. We need to make it happen. Oh, look at Hi, Canoe. Thank you so much. Who is the realist? on the cast. Who is the realist on the cast? Honestly, I'm going with Whitney. I would say Whitney. Would you? Yeah. 
She we both agree, good. Whitney. Yeah, Whitney's good people, really. good heart. I would say she's a real she. Artist. Honestly, she does have a very genuine heart. Mm -hmm. She really does. She does, and she yeah. always tries to look out for others. I like that about her. She does. Are you still friends with any of the cast now? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> they kicked me out at two in the morning in a foreign country. Monica versus Jen on our TVs. Why would they pass on that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. This has been an iconic life. Thank you guys. <laughs> it's because of Dana. No, it's because of Monica. Of no. Wait, Carlos, let's do it. Let's go. They, let's give them what they want. I've been, I actually love Carlos and I am dying to meet him. So that would be a huge honor for me. You did what needed to be done. An informant can't speak on an ongoing case legally though. Well, luckily it's not ongoing anymore. It is a closed case, um, but I wasn't. I wasn't her. Who, who? Okay, she can't tell us. All she can say is I wasn't the informant that Dana was talking about. No snitching, okay? Snitches get stitches. Okay, well, technically 